A to Z. Parasaurolophus is one of the rarer duckbills, with a large, elaborate crest on its head that functioned as a visual recognition of its species. Scientists think that Parasaurolophus might have used its crest to communicate over long distances, as well as locate other group members, including their young, and warning the group of predators. Parasaur Parasaurolophus was a plant-eating duck-billed dinosaur that lived in western North America during the late Cretaceous. With its narrow beak, Parasaurolophus was probably a selective grazer, able to pick up and choose the plant parts it wanted to eat. Some of these plants might have included pine needles, twigs, and leaves. Pontosaurus is a two-legged plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Australia during the Cretaceous time period. Pontosaurus was fairly small, growing to about six feet long and three feet high. Quantosaurus was a plant-eater, or herbivore. Living close to the South Pole, the large eyes of the Quantosaurus may have helped this herbivore see better during months of darkness each winter. Rhabdodon was a two-legged plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Europe during the Cretaceous time period. Rhabdodon was similar to a modern-day deer in size. Rhabdodon. Rhabdodon was a plant eater, or herbivore. Rhabdodon belongs to the same group of dinosaurs as Iguanodon and the duck billed Corythosaurus. Stygimoloch had a super thick skull. Some scientists think that this animal used its head to bump the sides of other Stygimoloch. Stygimoloch has an unusual set of horns and spikes on its head. Short little horns covered the nose, and enormous backward pointing spikes grew out of the back of its skull. Stygimoloch. Stygimoloch was a herbivore that walked on two legs and lived in the late Cretaceous time period of what is now North America. Although the horns of the Stygimoloch looked fierce, they were most likely used as a way to intimidate other members of the group. Stygimoloch was a herbivore that walked on two legs and lived in the late Cretaceous time period of what is now North America. Troodon was a small bipedal dinosaur with a big brain, which probably made it one of the smartest dinosaurs around. Troodon lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Discovered as far as the North Pole, scientists believe they lived in cooler, darker climates and were covered in feathers. Troodon was a small... Unlike most dinosaurs feeding on either plants or meat, Troodon was most likely an omnivore, eating both plants and meat. Being an omnivore means it was easier to find a meal. Troodon eye sockets are extremely large, which is characteristic of nocturnal animals, those that see and hunt in the dark. Troodon eyes were forward-facing, which meant they could see things far away. Utah Raptor was a fast-running theropod that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Although no feathers have been found with fossils of Utahraptor, we know that many of its close relatives in Asia had feathers. So, Utahraptor was probably feathered as well. With its long running legs and a huge claw, although no Utah with its long running legs and a huge claw on each foot, Utahraptor would have been an excellent predator. Utah Raptor grew to over 30 feet long. Velociraptor is a small feathered dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous. It's only been found in Asia and lived in a desert habitat with sand dunes. 
Velociraptor was a theropod in Central Asia and lived during the latter part of the Cretaceous time period. It was about the size of a turkey with a very long tail and known for being very fast. Velociraptor. Velociraptor is derived from the Latin words for quick and robber. It was given this name by scientists because it was a very fast carnivore. Velociraptor was a bipedal feathered dinosaur that shared many of the same features as modern birds. It's most known for its long tail and large claws that stuck out from the back of each hind leg. Velociraptor is derived from the Latin words for quick, velociraptor. Onanosaurus was a pachycephalosaur dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Like many kinds of dinosaurs, Onanosaurus is known from only one incomplete skeleton. To rebuild the whole skeleton, paleontologists had to look at the bones of close pachycephalosaur relatives. Onanosaurus. Onanosaurus was a plant eater or herbivore. Wononosaurus grew to be just over three feet long, which makes it one of the smallest dinosaur herbivores known. Xenotarsosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in South America during the Cretaceous time period. Xenotarsosaurus had four fingered hands and three toed feet. Although small for a theropod dinosaur, Xenotarsosaurus was an effective predator. Xenotarsos Xenotarsosaurus probably hunted small dinosaurs and other small animals. The name Xenotarsosaurus means strange ankle lizard because its ankle bones are different from most theropods. Yangtuanosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia. With plenty of sharp teeth in their jaws, they would have been amazing predators. Some Yangtuanosaurus grew to be over 30 feet long. Yangtuanosaurus. Yangtuanosaurus probably hunted plant-eating dinosaurs like stegosaurs and young sauropods. Yangchuanosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Jurassic time period. Like its close cousin Quetzalcoatlus, Zhejiangopterus was a giant flying reptile or pterosaur. Zhejiangopterus was a type of large pterosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous time period. Its fossils have been found throughout Asia and have been greatly preserved. Like its close, like other pterosaurs, Zhejiangopterus dove into the water and caught fish. While they were larger than other pterosaurs, Zhejiangopterus had similar bone structure, just with longer necks and heads. Unlike other pterosaurs, Zhejiangopterus did not have a crest or upright bone structure on the back of its head. It was larger than most pterosaurs, with a wingspan of over 16 feet wide. A. That's a great letter. B. Why don't you choose another one? C. D. E. F. G. H. I. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. O. P. Q. R. S. T. U. V. W. X. Y. That's a great letter.
Why don't you choose another Z. one? Z. Z. Why? Z. 